Grant, thank you. And breaking news tonight, an upstate coroner's office says the cold weather was responsible for two deaths over the weekend. 7 News' Sophia Radabaugh has been following this breaking story, and she has more information from Anderson County. Just less than a day apart, the Anderson County Coroner's Office says two people died and their deaths are being blamed on the cold weather. Two deaths just 20 minutes away from each other, and both of them... These extreme cold weathers do cause a lot of problems. ...were related to freezing temperatures that swept through the upstate. One death was on Christmas Eve in the Ashley Downs subdivision. He lost his power. He was dependent on his oxygen concentrator. The coroner's office says that man then tried to use his portable oxygen tank. But it didn't have a regulator on it at the time, and it looks like he struggled uh, putting the regulator on and collapsed. The second death happened on Christmas Day on Hartview Circle when 91-year-old Marvin Henley tried to fix his water pipe. He went outside to work on him. He got wet, came back in, changed his clothes, and went back out there and never came back in. The coroner's office says they found him dead the next day in wet clothes and were able to rule his death as exposure to cold temperatures. They say if you're ever in a situation like this. You need to call 911 immediately. And, of course, you don't need to be outside in these elements. Uh, especially, uh, you know, with the temperatures that we had. Uh, I just wish that both of them would have dialed 911 and called for help. The coroner's office is urging people, if you see someone struggling for warmth, either help yourself or find someone who can. In Anderson, Sophia Radabaugh, 7 News. The coroner says this is not the first time that they've seen cold weather deaths in Anderson County, but it is one of the few times the deaths have been within a day of each other. And we have more breaking news, this time out of North Carolina, where thousands...